amigos, amigas. I am Lenny from Barcelona, Spain. I'm your chef at your service. Today, I'll be cooking without looking, but with feeling. <laughs> I think, or it's a protocol that I have to wash my hands so that I, well, the food would uh, not get bacteria or virus. Okay, that's it. It's clean and it's sanitized. Now I'm going to present to you all the ingredients for my big condiment. I have this one half kilo of beef. Tengo un kilo y medio de ternera, okay? And this one, I have four pieces of carrots. Tengo cuatro piezas de zanahoria. And this one, I have here four pieces of potatoes. Or tengo cuatro piezas de patata. And I have here one can of pate de cerdo or one can of liver spread. This is the Spanish version of liver spread. I prefer this one because I could save more money using this for my recipe. Okay? We are in crisis, so we have to save money. Okay? And I have this one cup or one 550 grams of tomato sauce. Or I have uh, 550 grams of tomato fritas. Okay? One can of Sprite or Un lata de esprite. This is how the Spanish pronounce it. Like Colgate, they pronounce it Colgate. Okay? And this one, I have here one pack of Nestle cream. O tengo una lata de nata de Nestle cream. Okay? Crema de Nestle cream. Okay. And this one, I have here 12 pieces of this cheese. I prepare this one because I'm pretty sure this is pure one. I don't like cheese, grated cheese because I'm not sure if that is pure, okay? I want my beef caldereta is more delicious or sabroso. And I have one large red bell pepper. O tengo una grande de pimiento rojo, okay? And I have here half cup of pan delgado or breadcrumbs half cup okay un, un taza de pan delgado okay one cup of toyo and lemon one cup of soyo con lemon un lemon I use un lemon this sauce is the sauce of the beef uh, I mean this is where I marinated the the beef this sauce okay and I have 10 cloves of garlic or tengo 10 dientes de ajo. Okay. This one, I have here medio cucharita de molido. Oh, tengo um, half teaspoon of black, um, ground black pepper. Okay. And this one, four leaves of laurel or tengo cuatro hoja de laurel. And this one is the salt. Half teaspoon of salt. O tengo medio cucharita de sal. Okay? And this one, two pieces of onions. I have dos cebolla. Okay? Ese de blanco. Uh, it's up to you whether you use yellow or violet. It's up to you. Okay? I want more onion for my cabrita. It adds more flavor to my caldereta. Okay, now come with me and let's go to the kitchen and we will tenderize the beef using the pressure cooker. And this pressure cooker, I already put eight cups of water and a little bit of black bell pepper or molido, okay? I'm going to put all the beef here. Okay, slowly. Okay, it's finished. Okay, we'll cover it. I'm used to it because I've been cooking, so I know how to handle this pepper cooker. Okay, and I'm going to turn on now the gas. Okay, I'll put the stove into medium heat and I will 
close the pressure cooker. Okay, and see you then. We will be tenderizing the beef for one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, I have here the chopping board and the knife. I'm going to peel the carrots. Okay, I have four carrots. Okay, this is how I do it. Okay, and uh, I have plenty of carrots because vegetables is good for our health, especially nowadays. And after this, I will cut the carrots into bite size. It's like this. This is how I do it. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to chop is the potato. Okay, we will now cut the potato. It's like this. It's up to you whether you want a bigger one or... It's up to you, a, big, a bite size, but for me, this is okay. That's it. And then after this, put the potato in one cup with a little bit of water so that the potato won't get black. Okay, the next thing I have here, the red bell pepper. Okay, cut it into a square one, like this. Here in Barcelona, the bell pepper is fresh, okay? Very fresh and sweet. I love it. I, I put it in ensalada, okay? And sometimes I eat bell pepper just as it is, bell pepper alone, because it's very sweet and it's crunchy. You can see, you can hear the sound of the pressure cooker. Okay, we'll wait for that until the dip is tender, okay? Now, I'm going to chop the onion. First, I'm going to peel the onion. Mm -hmm. As you can see, mira, it's uh, very easy, okay? Make sure the onion is like this. Other once they cut the onion, it seems they want to cry. But in my case, it's okay. Now I'm going to chop the garlic. Okay, now the beef is done. I'm going to get the beef and we will start cooking the beef caldereta. Now the beef is already tender and all the ingredients are already chopped. So what more? Bounce up Let's start the cooking by frying the bell pepper and the carrots and potato. When the oil is already hot, I'm going to place the bell pepper. I'm doing this to get the flavor of the bell pepper and to also for potato and carrots. It would add more flavor to caldereta. Make sure that your bell pepper won't be burned. Mix it from time to time. Okay, put it here. Mm -hmm. That's the tip, no? For those people who cannot uh, see, use the metal spatula to get all the bell pepper. Okay, yummy, yummy! I'm so excited and I'm so hungry. I want to eat, I want to eat caldereta with my Tia Dani and my guest. I have my guest. Okay, this is the carrots. After mixing it several times, and you will uh, notice that the um, fragrance of the carrots come out, this is already cooked. Okay, the carrot is done. Now, I will be prepping the potato.
Now we will be sauteing the garlic and the onion. The cheese, look at the cheese. Oh. oh, I have a prepared salt, but I don't think we have to put it because the cheese is salty and also the salt. Okay, but it's up to you if you want to put salt, go. Yeah, but for me, no, we cannot get too salty because, uh, you know, we have to take care of our health. The cheese is melted. So I'm going to put the final ingredients, which is the pan rallado or the breadcrumbs. This would uh, make the sauce thicken using or uh, put by putting the bread. Okay, mix, mix, mix. It's almost finished. already done that's it for those people who want to have my recipe please like and subscribe with my youtube channel cooking without looking with lucky hasta luego adios